What's up, Buttercups? So this is the fifth video of the Dubuque Museum of Arts, Art Adventures educational thing. Uh, my name is Caitlin Donald. I am a museum fellow, and I would like to thank you for being patient with me through this whole process as I'm learning the editing technique and how to carry myself and other things and how to talk to the camera, which is kind of weird. Um, so again, thanks for being patient. Uh, today's topic is real casual, um, pretty short video, but I wanted to talk about why certain artists want to, or why, why would you want to draw something not realistically? So in this case, I'm going to talk about Grant Wood. <laughs> Grant Wood was an artist from Iowa, spent a lot of his time in Cedar Rapids. He was born in 1891. Um, and he was he self-taught himself how to draw at an early age, uh, but he did go to Chicago and Paris This is probably his most famous This is American Gothic And I want you guys to notice Sorry, it's kind of kind of foggy, but I want you guys to notice so we have these two people right and they're drawn very very well they're, they're painted very realistically, but What do you notice about the trees in the background? So I love Grant Wood's trees because he has the ability to draw extremely, extremely realistically, extremely realistically, and he chooses to draw trees in a very specific way. So let's see, this focus. So here we have another one. So look at his trees. They kind of look like weird green tree balloons, right? And so what you're noticing is they're very stylized. He has his very own unique style that no one really, el no one else really um, does. But what's interesting is he has the ability this is one of his older paintings to draw much more realistic. So I want you guys to think about why he might choose to draw trees. Let's see if I can find another good one. Draw trees kind of like these weird, <laughs> like I said, tree balloons. That's what they remind me of. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with his tree balloons. Um, and so I want you guys to think about why he might do that. I couldn't find a very good answer myself going through his biographies, but there's a lot of artists that do do this and it's the way that they see the world. Especially what makes this an important decision is that he has the ability, he can paint super realistically, but he chooses not to. And so I want you guys to kind of think about why that might be. And then if you want, cause I know tomorrow is supposed to be a really, really nice day. Um, according to the weather app on my phone. Um, so you could go outside and maybe you can try and paint a tree and then see what different ways you can paint it and still make it look like a tree. <laughs> All right, so that is my short kind of casual video. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Um, and I hope that everyone is having a good weekend. All right.